What's up guys, I'm Bay Cumming. Today we're over on my Town Hall 8 account. A lot of you did not know I had a Town Hall 8 until recently when I announced it on stream. Yes, I have a Town Hall 8 account that has been relatively dormant for the past several months, you know, getting so busy with my Town Hall 9 and my Town Hall 10. Farming in Town Hall 8 just kind of fell low, low on my priority list, but I've heard you guys saying, can you show me some Town Hall 8 war content? I've also noticed that there's not a whole lot of people making war content for TH8 on YouTube right now, so I figure I can fill that niche, and it's war, which is what I love, and I have no problem making a video like this one. As you can see, today we're going to be bringing the Goho to this war base, and I'll just sort of break down the war plan that we have here. Um, there is kind of a concern that I have about this raid, and that is this clan castle right here. Uh, we are going to end up using one golem to come onto this cannon, and then wizards to follow up behind it, but I'm, it's unclear to me whether or not that golem is going to go target this air, air, air defense or this uh, air, air sweeper, or if it's going to want to go down to this cannon here or this wizard tower here. I think, I think, I think it's going to target this wall right here, but we will have to see, guys. We'll have to see. Uh, so anyways, this, the clan castle is really all you have to worry about when you're hitting Town Hall 8. Uh, luring this would be relatively difficult because if I were to drop hog riders onto, whoops, onto one cannon right here, it would um, basically uh, go to the next cannon and then keep going all around. So um, I don't think luring is really possible, so I'm just going to have to charge right at it and use two poison spells to take out the dragon and the balloon, assuming he has a dragon balloon. And yeah, so that's just the opening phase. After that, I'm going to drop my Barbarian King and my Valkyries over onto this corner, basically to come in and take care of enemy BK and this Bomb Tower. Now, if I can take those two things out, BK and the, and the Bomb Tower, that's going to set up some really perfect pathing for my Hog Riders to come in from the sort of uh, 12 to 3 face and just sweep the center of it. Now, this is a low-level Town Hall 8, so with three heal, heal spells, as long as that Clan Castle goes down, I can't imagine that we run into many problems here. So why don't we go ahead and jump right into the attack. Alright guys, here we are queued up for our attack. As you can see, my army is 2 archers, 8 wizards, 20 hog riders, 3 valkyries, a golem, uh, my 3 ice wizards, which I do not want to use. I've been holding on to those forever, uh, doing war attacks with them and not having to use all, all my troops. If I have to use one just to clutch the victory, okay, but that last remaining ice wizard, if I get down to one, I'm never going to spend it. I'm going to wait till Christmas before I ditch him. So anyways, um, yeah, and of course, Max Hog Riders in my CC, three heals and two poisons. Got my level 10 king. Time to go. All right, so attack. I'm going to drop one early, uh, actually, yeah, I'll drop one early wizard right here. And let that come in. I'll drop the golem right now. Come on, golem. Yes. Okay, and I'll drop one, two, three wizards over here. Another wizard right there. Basically trying to power some of this stuff down. What? Hold on a second. You mean that cannon is not targeting the golem? Oh, that, that was unfortunate. Okay, we've lost some wizards, guys. We've definitely lost some wizards. This is not going to plan. Maybe I should drop a hog rider right there. Is he going to trigger the CC as he comes in? Okay, we're going to have to burn some hogs. This is not going to this is not going too well. We need that golem to uh, to swing in to get the clan castle. Okay, so here comes the dragon and the balloon. We're going to double poison that right away and try to kill this. I mean, we are really, really looking like we're in a painful spot at this very moment. The dragon's got to die in, inside that double poison. He's got to die. He's got to die. Yeah, please die. And then we're going to drop the king over here with the three Valkyries. Their job. Okay, so enemy king has spotted him. That's good. And then we're going to drop three Valkyries basically just to beat him in the face. Come on, Valkyries. Go on. Go on. So we got one cleanup wizard. We got to use him really wisely here because it's it might come down to time. Those Valkyries are going to start working. We're going to go ahead and start our deployment over here. Come on, Valkyries. Get the bomb tower. Really want you to get this bomb tower and then everything is rip. So here, we're going to take our nice sweet time. Wait for the bomb tower to go down. There we go. There we go. There we go. Just spam all the hogs. Bam, uh, probably pop king, king ability soon. Yep, and then we'll drop our CC hogs probably on the back side here. Let's go ahead and heal the core. We'll drop a wizard up top. Yeah, this is looking pretty wrecked, guys. We, we definitely took our sweet time get, getting this going, but this is totally wrecked at, at, at this point. No way that this base can stand up. Too many hogs. Too many hog riders, guys. Too many hogs. And we got two heals in the, in the bag, swagging out the double heal spell. That's what I'm talking about. So we got one minute for cleanup, 
and three ice wizards and two heal spells in the bag. You see guys, part of raiding, no matter what town hall you're at, is patiently deploying the aspects of your at attack. I had to make sure that a couple things were freed up and looking nice and uh, sweet for me in order to pull off this ugly, ugly swag on this base. 100% double heal poise, heal swag, three ice wizards in the bag. All right, so guys, um, it's really not worth it to show my second hit, and I'll go ahead and explain why. It's because the bottom base is here. These are just some trashy, trashy uh, rushed bases. They, they, they weren't even rushed for any particular reason. As you can see, he doesn't even have any advantage with his troops. He doesn't have a king yet. So there's really no reason to show me hitting that, and I will be cleaning that up. Uh, I think one of our we have like a Town Hall 6 that failed on it or something like that. So anyways, um, but yeah, but this one, you know, still got some good defenses, but I'm just going to mass hog this one. I'm not even going to bother with a with the golem or anything. I'm just going to lure it, kill the CC, and just throw 30 hogs at it. It's really not worth it to show. Uh, so anyways, guys, I hope that you've enjoyed it. Um, and uh, I'm going to be doing more THA content just like this breaking down some, some stuff for you, doing some different strategies, because I think TH8 still deserves some love. You guys are right on the cusp of joining Town Hall 9, which is where war really kicks up. Town Hall 9 is where, you know, the the the, the war per, uh, prospects just go like this, boom. Uh, Town Hall 8, you're pretty linear in terms of, okay, hogs, dragons, or Valkyrie uh, attacks. I mean, that's, that's really it. You don't have this massive, like, queen charge, you know, hybrid hybrid strategy, you know, you, you don't have all these different hybrid options that, that you do at Town Hall 9, at Town Hall 8, but you're almost there, and I want you to stay excited about the game, and I want you to enjoy it. Once again, hope you had fun today, hope you learned something, take care, see you later.